Two blocks of masses 2 kilograms and 5 kilograms are at least on ground. The masses are connected by a string passing over a frictionless pulley, which is under the influence of a constant upward force F equals to 50 newtons. The accelerations of 5 kilogram block is so here we have m1 m2 and then we have to find the acceleration of m2 if we pull the pulley upwards m2 will go down and m1 will go upwards the question is about a2 and we can focus on mass 2 so a2 equals to total force on mass 2 divided by mass 2 so the total force here we have um, weight of w2 and we have string here so we have tension so the total force is weight 2 minus tensions minus tension since the tension is in the opposite direction to the acceleration and we have mass of 5 so the weight is 50 minus tension over 5 we don't have the value of tension yet, so we have to find it by looking at the other object. If we take a look on the pulley, we'll have total force equals to ma. If the pulley is very light, we can negligible, we can negligible the mass or this is massless. So the mass equals to zero. So the total force on the pulley is F and we have tension in the direction of downwards. So F minus tension minus tension because we have to downward tension equals to uh, the mass is zero. So 50 minus 2T equals to zero. 50 equals to 2t so t equals to 25 newtons and we can substitute the number 25 so 50 minus 25 is 25 divided by 5 so the acceleration of a2 equals to 5 meter per second square Two vectors are given as shown in the figure. If one box represents S equals to 5 meter, the resultant of two vectors is. So here we have two vectors of R1 and R2. And how to find the resultant of vector? We can find it by connecting the initial point to the final point. So we have the resultant vector of R. And how to find the magnitude of the vector R equals to, we can counting the boxes of vector R, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 boxes, and for each box equals to 5 meter. So the resultant is 40 meter. A small block with a mass of 2 grams is released from point A. The block that moves along the frictionless curve path AB with forms a quarter circle with radius of R. After that, the block moves along the horizontal path BC with a coefficient of kinetic friction 0.68 and comes to a complete stop at point C. The ratio between the radius of path AB and the distance of the flat path BC is so we have to find the ratio of r radius and the distance of 
BC. So here is the radius. The radius. This is also the radius and this is also the radius. And we have the distance of BC D at point A the object has gravitational potential energy and then the gravitational potential energy changes to kinetic energy as the object falls down and then the kinetic energy transferred to work done due to friction so we can conclude that gravitational potential energy changes to work done due to friction Let's remember the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It only changes from one form to another form. So the total energy always conserved or the value of gravitational potential energy will be the same as the value of work done due to friction. Gravitational potential energy is mgh equals to force of friction times distance. We have mass of the block of 2 grams or we can convert it to as a unit kilogram 0 0.002 kilogram times gravity 10 times height. The height will be equals to the radius, so this is R equals to the friction is mu kinetic times normal force times distance. Zero point zero two R equals to zero point sixty eight times the normal force of the object will be equals to mg or weight since the normal force is in the opposite direction of mg so we have 0.002 times gravity 10 times t and then r over d will be equals to 0 0.68 times 0 0.002 times 10 divided by 0 0.02 this will be 0 0.0136 out of 0 0.02 r over d equals to 0 0.68 Budi and Amir decide to ascend a mountain. Budi chooses a short, steep trail, while Amir, who weighed the same as Budi, chose a long, gently sloped trail. At the top of mountain, they get into argument about who gained more potential energy. Which of the following is true? A. Budi gains more gravitational potential energy than Amir. So, remember about the concept of gravitational potential energy. The gravitational potential energy is a type of energy that depends on the position or depends on the height. And we have um, the formula of gravitational potential energy. GPE equals to mg height. So, the value of gravitational potential energy depends on mass, gravity, and height. Both Budi and Amir has the same amount of mass and has the same amount of gravity because the gravity on Earth has the constant value of 10 meter per second square. Uh, and at the top of mountain, they have the same value of height. So, the statement A is incorrect. Statement B, incorrect. 
statement C to compare the gravitational potential energy we must know the length from the equation above we can conclude that gravitational potential energy doesn't relate to the length of the trails so option C is also false option D body gains the same gravitational potential energy as Amir here yeah. the correct statement is D